you are watching Redicon. My name is Asad Shah and I will be talking to you about how to approach a pelvic radiograph. So before we start looking through the cases, uh, I'm going to emphasize certain general points that you should know and which will help you approach the plane films during the viva. The foremost thing is listen to the examiner because examiner is going to give you the pertinent history which will help you find a single salient abnormality on the film. And usually there is a single abnormality on the film that once you've found it, you can't get your eyes away from it. And examiners are senior radiologists, so they have piled up a collection of cases uh, which comprise of atypical presentation of common pathologies or common pathologies at unusual location. And they want you to identify these pathologies. And that's the examination about. So always remember the review areas of each plane film. Like in the chest X-ray, we talk about the APCs or, or uh, below the diaphragms, paratribal areas. Similarly, in the pelvis, we're going to talk about review areas. The other important point is don't forget the margins or the edges of the film. Because when we are looking at a film, we are focusing on the center of the image and we forget the edges. And usually the pathologies or important information is hidden at the edges. And then once you have found a pathology or you found an abnormality, then in normal practice, you always ask for another view. Exam is all about replicating normal day-to-day -day safe radiological practice. So remember asking for another view. And then once you have exhausted the information on the film, then don't forget to ask for any previous imaging. Right, so let's start with the AP pelvic radiograph. And this is an AP pelvic radiograph of an adult female demonstrating mild degenerative changes in the pubic symphysis. The sacroiliac joints appear symmetrical. And then there is mild form of spinal dysraphism at L5. There is an opacity projected over the right inferior sacrum, which most likely to be an artifact. So talking about basic principles uh, to approach the pelvic radiograph, talking about the alignment, you look at the pubic symphysis and the sacroiliac joints, there are these lines which are commonly used uh, to, uh, to, to assess any subtle abnormality like that yellow line, you're seeing that's called a shentil line starting from the inferior aspect of the superior pubic symphysis going along the femoral leg. And if there is any, any angulation, you have to think about a femoral leg fracture. Then there is this red line, which is the aliopectineal line. You've got the purple line, ischial line, you've got the acetabular walls. And then don't forget these white lines at the back uh, uh, outlining the sacral hiatus, the sacral foramina. These are called arcuate lines. Then we'll talk about the teardrop, and then you can draw the margins of the object of foramen. So it's just important uh, uh, tips, important uh, landmarks to help us identify any subtle abnormality. But when you look at the sacroiliac joints, don't forget the sacrum. Sacrum is a review area. Pathologies can hide in the sacrum. There can be overlying bowel, but always look at the, the, the both sides of the sacrum to see any asymmetry, any lesion, and things like that. And then moving laterally, you go to the iliac blades, iliac crest, because things can get hidden there. And then don't forget the proximal femora. They're also part of the, of the film. And obviously, we always look at the hips first. In hips, you compare the symmetry of the joint spaces, the contour of the femoral heads. And in the skeletally immature patient, always look at the physis, any abnormality of the physis, like slip or overlap, things like that. And then don't forget the acetabulum. Things can hide in the acetabulum. And then joint spaces. Joint spaces always compare one side with the other and see whether it's a focal joint space loss affecting the superior aspect of the joint or is it a concentric or a diffuse joint space loss. There is no, this is not a, a strict kind of scheme, but the point is you have to have a scheme, your own scheme in mind so that you don't miss any abnormality. And, re, and remember these review areas, sacrum, iliac blades, proximal femora, 
and also look at the soft tissues. There are soft tissues around the hip, and then it's important to stand away from the film and, and take an overview. Is there anything that is just standing, standing out? So now we're gonna go through these things one by one. You can subscribe to our YouTube channel and click on the notification bell for new courses. For more modules and radiology CMAs, please visit www.radicon.org.